I don't know what all this is, but I don't want to find out. I don't know what all this is, but I don't want to find out. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. I could use that. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. I could use that. Not bad. Not bad at all. I could use that. Oh, I could use that. I could use that. I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know what all this is, but I don't want to find out. She says, if I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Ooh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. I saved your life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound. Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. <sighs> hey, let me see that. Leave it. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on, roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Let me see. It's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way.
you ever hear about the North Pole? That old fairy tale? <laughs> yeah, like this ward. Old white guy founds it. Food and fresh water, everyone gets along. <laughs> mm. That sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer out here. <laughs> you think people actually live like this? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. <laughs> yeah. Locked. Great. Ugh, we can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's gotta be another way through. Hey, Eagle Eye. See if you can squeeze your ass through that hole up there. about time. What took you? What happened to these poor bastards? Hey, look at this. Can't let it go to waste. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and these bodies. Yeah! <sighs> Over here! Oh, this is bad. This is bad with a side of broccoli. A side of what? Nothing. Uh, something my ma used to say. That don't count, by the way.
starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. <coughs> 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 The Deadwood ain't all gone after all. Nope. Ain't no way the war's real. Not with a nest like this out here. You know, maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. It's okay. You're safe. Whoa, whoa, hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo! Hey, we still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them.
brood are thick down here. Must be what I felt back at the ward. Wait! <coughs> You're from the ward? Shit! <coughs> Maybe Santa's real too. Yeah, it's not far from here. The way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. would know they've lost, but they won't lay down without a fight. You okay? 
Not bad shooting, Traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. The ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. <sighs> I'm fine, I... <sighs> Ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... <sighs> We, we need to get her to the uh, and quick. <clears throat> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving. Before we lose the light. Yeah. This is Riggler. Call me Riggs. I got you, darling. <sighs> Don't worry, friend. We'll take good care of her. Welcome to War 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. <sighs> Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh! He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest. Okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the Ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. We've just, uh, we've been cut off from the world for so long that, well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. Hey again. Did you have a question? Hey, I'm just glad we got to you, you know, when we did. You stirred up quite a deadwood nest. I haven't seen that many in one place for a long time. Oh, uh, that was Wally. He, he gave us a heads up someone was coming. Then Clementine was the one that found you. They, they got a kind of uh, a root sense, I guess. And we figured where there were root gatherings, someone was likely to be in trouble. <laughs> and there you were. No, no, that was... something else. Uh, Clementine, she... she's amazing, but she carries a lot on her own. <sighs> I don't know what all she sees, but I... Uh, we worry about her, is all. <sighs> Incredible, isn't she? 
Yeah, no one really understands how she does it, not, not even her. But the feel in the air after she blasts him like that, it's... It's electric. Like, like the sun after a storm. She's something special, Traveler. <laughs> and no small part of how we're as safe as we are. Between me and... Oh, I, I, I don't... Um... <laughs> uh... Well, yeah, I mean, everyone cares about Clementine, right? I'm just... I, I, I mean, I, I, I don't... Ha have, uh, have you ever met anyone like her, Traveler? Because I haven't. Like, I, I haven't always been the bravest guy around, you know? But the way she fights for folks, no matter what it takes out of her, it, it makes me want to do better. I... I kind of want to make her proud, you know? I... I guess you could say she's my... My inspiration, maybe? Oh, but don't... Mm, don't tell her I said that, though. <laughs> I guess... I, I used to guard the old ward some 20 years ago. I helped out here and there, you know, but... Before Commander Ford passed, she and the Founder, they kind of... put me in charge. Yeah, maybe no one else wanted the job, I don't know, but... The ward's the only family I've ever known. I'll do whatever it takes to keep these folks safe. Oh, uh... <laughs> thanks? I don't know, I guess I just take care of myself? Uh, eat right, get to sleep early, all that? Yeah, Commander Ford always said a leader can't care for anyone if they don't care for themselves. I'm just trying to live right. I reckon she learned it from the Founder. He's been around for ages. Oh, he ain't much for leading himself. Granddaughter, actually. Yeah, the, uh, the Founder wasn't around as much back in the day, but... Commander Ellen was like a mother to me. To all of us from the old ward. <sighs> it just doesn't seem right. I mean, that, that she's gone before he is? Yeah, but... When our last hope fails, another must take its place. <laughs> she used to say that, too. Uh, I couldn't say. Commander used to talk about him like he was dead and gone before I was born. Uh, you'd have to ask him yourself, I guess, but... He ain't like the rest of us. He's... He's seen a lot. <laughs> I usually leave storytelling to Reggie. O or if you want some really wild tales, try Mudtooth. <laughs> now there's an old-timer who can twist a yarn. Lots of nice folks here. Talk to him, you'll see. If you need anything, you know where to find me. gone for good dunno but I don't think it matters we've got to find joy where we can while we can you ever wonder if you should talk to Ford they don't call him the founder for nothing well, what do you mean like none of this what happened to us to the world how many times has Miss Ava thrown you oh, out of a workshop are you and your friend married? Do people even get married out there? What does getting married mean? Ma won't tell me yet, and I'm pretty sure Pa didn't tell me the truth. <sighs> the ward sure has changed since you and I met. 
Well, that's what happens when you care about people and work together. If you're looking for a home, there ain't no better place than Ward 13. Mr. Dwell says he doesn't all speak this is very well. Like but I think he just doesn't a dream or something. What do you mean? Like none of this. What happened to us, to the world, is actually real. Oh, I don't know. That sounds a little far fetched. You're the newcomer, ain't you? Nora Camarillo. I keep folks alive around here. You know, you're lucky they found you when they did. Your friend was pretty bad. I got her just in time. Pretty much. Any part of your flesh prison breaks down, you come to me. There ain't much I haven't seen before. Let me know if you see something you need. Welcome back, sunshine. Go on, then. Came here maybe ten years back. My ma had died and Grandpa didn't feel safe carting me around the countryside by himself. It turned out good. The city's full of scrounge, and Grandpa made a living selling bandages and meds while treating folks for free. I do the same. He even attended the old commander when she passed. Couldn't do much for her except ease her going, but folks around here thanked him for it. Made us part of the ward and all. All right then, what else can I do for you? See you around, traveler. Looking for Ford? He's over in the warehouse. Sure, he's got something going on. Always does. these days. Things must be getting a mighty easier out there. Welcome, traveler. I'm Reginald Malone, but my friends call me Reggie. But you can too. Saw you come in with Bo and Clementine there. Oh, you can be sure they'll do everything they can for your friend. Ain't the first to come through here needing help. Oh, getting right to business. 
I respect that. You might find some of these useful. Let's talk again soon. It's easy to get turned around here. If you're looking for Ford, he's just up the stairs in the warehouse. Looking for Ford? He's up top in that warehouse over there. This is not up for discussion, Clementine. You're staying, and that's fine. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your tone, young lady. Excuse me? I'm 132 years old, in case you forgot. And I am not your child. You don't have authority over me. On this, I do. This town needs you. You can't go wandering off after something that... that might not even exist. Oh, that's rich. What have you been doing the last hundred years then, huh? What the hell are you doing right now? Well, that's different. I'm trying to fix things. Things that you broke when you tried to play God. That was Harsgard. I was just following orders. I didn't... Oh, and that makes it okay? You know how many people died because you just followed orders? Of course I know. You think I don't remember that every goddamn day? I'm trying to make things right here. So am I. You're such a damned hypocrite, Ford. If I leave, it's my fault. But you? You didn't break the world. You didn't run after a pipe dream. You didn't abandon your family a dozen times over. <sighs> Look, I've made a lot of mistakes. I admit that. But it's because of those mistakes that I'm telling you not to do the same thing. <sighs> well, forgive me if I don't want to take advice from the men who fucked up the world in the first place. I'm not your dreamer anymore. Maybe I've got my own mission. These people need you, Clementine. You're too important to just- Every person out there is capable of taking care of themselves. This isn't about them. It's about you. You've always run away from your problems, but you won't let me run toward something. What are you so goddamned afraid of? I'm losing you, losing them, losing everything. I've already lost everything! You took it from me. You, Neville Harsgard. The whole goddamned project. <laughs> I don't belong here. I never did. I'm tired of pretending I do. <laughs> Look, uh, you put yourself through a lot today. You're tired. Get some rest, huh? Things will feel better tomorrow. <laughs> you know how I, you know I used to look up to you. The way you seemed strong enough to save the world. Except I've already saved it, haven't I? And what have you done? I... <sighs> I can't let you go near that place, Clementine. That's an order. <laughs> you haven't learned a damned thing, Ford. Out of my way. Whoa, what have we here? Ah, the traveler, of course. Wallace said, yes, uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know, families fight, Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. 
in the flesh. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk, and some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. Huh. <laughs> Not my way. And you want to be careful what you wish for, traveler. Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to marshal my resources. And then we'll get into it in earnest. Ah, uh, not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Aren't you clever? Skeptic. That's fine. It so happens I knew you'd be coming today. Or I hoped. Our young Wallace told me. Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. It's more like he can see really far into the present. Sometimes. Let me see if I can get you up to speed. Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Looks can be deceiving. In fact, she's 132 years old. She was 16 when I first met her, over a lifetime ago. But she hasn't aged a day since. You see, Clementine, she's forever young. Height of hormones, height of feeling, height of hurting. I'm sure you remember yourself. Or if not, <laughs> that little scrapper you came in with brought it all back to you. Compared to who? <laughs> Bo might be young, but he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned, just a kid. Ward 13 sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only don't think there's a soul in town has lost as much as Riggs. Don't know how that man gets up out of bed every day. But he does, and we're damn thankful. Want some intel, eh? All right, Traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. i tell you a story. We can discuss this later. You're not making the founder wait, traveler. <laughs> He's got a thing about time. Oh, traveler, I heard you're helping out the founder. <laughs> kind of makes you a legend yourself. Yeah, the commander thought so. I mean, eventually. The founder can be eccentric, but you can't argue with his results. 
Just gear up and be safe, okay? I'm, I'm saving you a spot on garden duty when you get back, huh? <laughs> Those carrots ain't gonna pull themselves. Right, if you need anything, you know where to find me. Greetings. <laughs> Forgive me. I am not good with Paxel take faces. Oh, it is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Paxel take apart without hoof and horn. <laughs> I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxel take name is Dwell. I sell crystals from my world. They make Paxel take faster, stronger, more powerful. They help me defeat his enemies. <laughs> and the prices are quite fair. The finest crystals anywhere. Farewell. Looking for Wallace. But uh, he's up there. Best view in town. I hope your friend's all right. She looked real bad. I see you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He think you know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you want it to. Makes a lot of sense now. 
You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Till next time. Traveler returns. They don't like it when I help you, but it is the role I must play. Until next time. You were right, Mudder. Traipsing in here like you own the place. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Psh, right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks. You tell him I gave you this. Uh, good for me, no charge. Uh, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. stuff more. You can shoot straight with this. <laughs> I wonder if I can make a... Well, ain't you a right uh, mutter? Traipsing in here like you are. <laughs> I'm just pulling you. Name's Brabus, and I run security around here. Well, seeing as you got the mayor's personal approval, I reckon you're his problem now. 
I also make sure folks hereabouts can protect themselves. Ain't just the root kicking around. A lot of folks still ain't chummy with this whole rebuilding society business. I should know. Damn straight. A lot of folks only ever learn how to look out for themselves. They don't know any different. I used to be one of them. Up until about 20 years ago, I ran a pack called the Mud Dogs. We took what we wanted and killed anyone who crossed us. It was a doggy dog world back then. We all did what we had to to survive. Uh, things might be different now, but a lot of folks can't chew a path out of the old ways. Maybe never will. Remember, the choices you make out there can come back to haunt you, believe me. Those guns at Brabus cells are better for killing than hunting. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? <laughs> well, that explains it. Everything that old coop touches becomes a whole thing. If Ford's involved, you're gonna need all the help you can get. Fine. Well... The only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So, either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what. I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. to help with whatever journey he saw you on just tell wally to be more specific next time yeah so we're done here right or do i need the hammer again uh, let me save you some time so you don't keep nattering on we used to live in that building over there then a stranger came we called them the wanderer you might have noticed everyone gets a handle here Anyway, they show up and stop the route. Now, we live in these buildings here. That clear it up for you? And me? I keep it real simple. Less to worry about that way. <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? It pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here, so I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons, okay? Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. Oh, friend! <laughs> Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? That's right, but everybody calls me Rakes. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back on, do you? Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Yeah, that sounds like Brabus. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment.
Be safe out there. Oh, what can I do for you? So long. much about life before the ward what you did and all oh it was a hard time i guess i've done some things i weren't proud of i'm sure you did Whoa, hey, get away from my stew! Oh, it's you. Oh, nonsense. I'm sure you had a reason. Me casa et tu, Brute. <laughs> and all that. So, what can old Mudtooth do for you? Questions? I reckon I've got a few answers. Town, you call it. Back in my day, a place like this wouldn't be considered much more than a camp or a, 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 a bivouac, you might call it. Nah, this ain't no town. Not yet. But it is a fine place to set up Kip. <laughs> I lived by myself for years, see? Had myself a, uh, what you calls it, a, a hockapotopter. That thing could fly to the moon and back. <laughs> it could. <laughs> Anywho, I was living by myself when my boy Brabus showed up saying we should move on. Told me it wasn't safe for me to be living like I've been living no more. He told me about this place. Got some nice people here. Took some getting used to being around folks again. Well, Brabus, he's my son. Twere his idea to come join this little shanty town. Not a bad idea it was, neither. He's over yonder, at the shooting range, if you're looking to find him. Not much of a talker, though, that one. <laughs> Guess he didn't get his old man's gift for gab, eh? <laughs> Quite a bit, stranger. The name's Mudtooth. And ain't nobody been around longer or seen more than I have. Except maybe old Ford, of course, but that old mudder cheats. Anyway, he hardly tells any of his stories. Only three reasons why folks come to see me, and that's my stories or my stew. Yeah. So, youngin', what'll it be? That so? Huh. Did I tell you about the stories yet? Right. So. Let me see here. Folks, come see me for my stories and my stew and... Listen, you sure I said there were three reasons? Cause there's only two and that's certain. Huh, only two reasons folks come to see old Mudtooth and you know both of them. I'm pretty sure your memory's slipping. You bet your apple I can, but these ain't just stories, stranger. They're objective retellings of legitimate occurrences what you wouldn't believe. Now, 
where to start. I ever tell you the secret behind my stew? Well, I ain't gonna. <laughs> but I will tell you how it came to be, yeah? The original recipe comes from my ma, of course. But that ain't the end of the story. My ma made a fine stew. But it weren't nothing to tell tales about. Not until the day me and the crazy age got ourselves trapped in one of them old, uh, medieval, uh, meditating, uh... We was trapped in one of them medicinal compounds full of pharmaceuticals and whatever you call them. And I had nothing but a dead coney and an onion on my belt, which weren't good for much, but were the style at the time. So we scrounged for ingredients. Well, them hospitalities ain't no good for food, but they do have some pretty mean spices lying around if you know what you're doing, which I do. That night was the best stew any of us ever had in our lives. Kept us going for days until finally the dead wood outside got bored and took off. And that, friend, is the same stew I make today. I even use the same ingredients as them back in the day medicinals. <laughs> Better even. Pity that there. Why, sure, but uh, it ain't ready just yet. The lunch rush today was something fierce, I tell you. But I'll have some for you quicker than you can say crazy eight. Well, maybe not that quick. I done already said it, didn't I? Just come back in a while, I'll be sure to save you a bowl. I'll be seeing you then. You don't need a break, do you? You big, strong man, you. <sighs> no, no. You look ready to face anything. What do you say? Ready to see what's down there with me? I hear you. Take care of whatever you need to. But come back soon, huh? Uh, maybe just 
need to go to the ring. Thank you. Wonder if I can make a, a decent trap out of that one. Mm. about life before the ward what you did and all oh it was a hard time i guess i don't see things i want to 